wishbone What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination On such a little bug What's the story, wishbone? Do you think it's worth a look? It kind of seems familiar Like a story from a book Shake a leg now, wishbone Let's wag another tail Sniffing out adventure With wishbone on the trail Come on, wishbone What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, wishbone? What's the story, When the place gets this quiet, there's only one thing to do. Nap time. Ellen! Doorbell! I'll get it. All right, I'm coming. Wanda! Ellen! Oh, hi, Wanda. Wanda, what is it? Please, Ellen, I need your help. <laughs> Same old stuff. The Historical Society Crafts Fair is this Saturday. Why is that a disaster? You've been working toward it all year. Right, and Bob was going to help me run my booth, but then he found out that his James Fenimore Cooper Society annual board meeting was at the same time. Bob never misses a board meeting. Of course. I need you, Ellen. Oh, Wanda, I am just as sorry as I can be, but you know that I have to work at the library on Saturday. Oh! <sighs> so much for the nap. Uh, Joe, wait. Um, Joe, Wanda needs some help at the craft fair on Saturday. Well, what would I have to do? Oh, uh, help me set up the booth, uh, take the money from the happy customers, make change. Okay. You will? Oh, thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. You have no idea what it feels like to be all alone in your booth at the crafts fair. I said I helped. And there's nobody there to share the glory of triumphant creativity. It's enough to make the artist want to give up. I can think of somebody else who felt that way. The German poet Goethe wrote a story about a man who worked hard and felt lonely. The first part was published in 1790, and the rest came out in the last year of Goethe's life, 1831. The man's name was Faust, and his story takes place in Württemberg, Germany, in the early 1500s. Faust studied long hours every night to become one of the smartest people in the world. He was a teacher and a doctor. Still, the loneliness of his life made him unhappy. Here I am, the great Faust. I've studied everything. Medicine, philosophy, law, theology. I've spent my whole life with my nose buried in these dusty old books. And what do I know? <laughs> I don't even know how to have fun. <sighs> I need a change. I long for companionship, for adventure. Ah. <sighs> I'd make a deal with the devil himself if it would change my life. Hmm? Look at that. You wanted to make a deal with me? Who are you? I am called Mephisto by my friends, but since I'm the nastiest person in the universe, I haven't many friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Watch out what you wish for. He can't come in here. I promise he'll stay in the booth with me. Put him on a leash. If I see him wandering around, he goes. Hmm. The guy thinks I don't know how to act in public. Imagine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Hmm, interesting place. Nice people. Oh, oh, Joe, there's a sale. Look. Why did you have to bring him? I didn't know I wasn't supposed to. Oh, come on, Wanda. Tell me how you really feel. 
Stay. Shh. Here come my customers. They like quiet. The slightest noise could ruin their experience of my art. Come get your wishomatic. Wishomatic right here. Come get your wishomatic. If you can dream it, you can do it with a wishomatic. Take a ticket to adventure. Thrill to the exotic locales of your own imagination. Why do they do this to me every year? His booth shouldn't be next to mine. Who is he? Dr. Montana. He's a doctor? He invented that stupid machine. He has no more right to be here than, than your dog. This is a craft spare for artists. He's nothing but a modern-day snake oil salesman. Ignore him. Uh, may I help you, sir? Wishomatics right here. Come get your Wishomatics. Step right up and enjoy and taste the glory that can be yours. <gasps> taste? Any day. Did he say taste? <gasps> at all. Popcorn. Take a ticket with me to adventure. <coughs> Sorry. Now, I want you to forget about your troubles. Hey, look forget how cute I am. Forget about your How about some popcorn? And take Dr. Come Montana's on, you love lifelong it. prescription for happiness. Oh, Pay off. Mm. 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 Nah. Now, now, isn't that the cutest thing you ever did see? Uh. I wonder what that little doggy could be wishing for. Mm. How about a doggy bag? Now, 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 don't rush off before you uh, before you try my uh, wish o here. About a job, Pooch. Excuse me? Did he just say Pooch? That's a fine-looking little animal you got there. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I always wanted a little doggy for my show. Want to try one, Sonny? 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 Yeah, you want to try it? Make your dreams come true. Your wildest dreams are about to come true. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I just want to examine the fine print. Oh, it says here that I agree to take you any place you want to go, bring you anything you ask for. Mm -hmm. You may live a very long time, trying one experience after another. When you've found the one perfect experience, the one you like best, then I get your immortal soul. And how long do you get to keep my immortal soul? For all eternity. Eternity. So we mean like forever eternity. No turning back. I'm not very comfortable with that. <laughs> Let me show you something. Wow! She's beautiful! Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. could you make her my girlfriend? Yes. If we have a deal. Where do I sign? Oh, anywhere. But you must sign in blood. Ew. Your first wish? Oh, well, let's see. I'm ready to get out of here, meet some people. How about a date with my new girlfriend? I love you very much. Hey, this is working out just fine. I love you, too. I've always wanted to meet someone like you. You don't know how lonely I've been. I'd like to see that you are never lonely again. I'd like that. If only we could always be together. Ooh, I'd like that too. Uh-oh. Hurry. I want to show you something. Hello. Can't you see I'm just a little busy right now? As soon as you're ready, I want to take you someplace I know you'll like. I love you, but I don't care much for your friend. Oh, he takes a little getting used to, but he's okay. He seems evil. I wish I'd never set eyes on him. Then I'll see that he doesn't bother you again. Thank you, my love. Ready to go yet? Ready to go? How about now, Sonny? You ready to give it a whirl? I can't. I'm supposed to be working. Can you believe it? These people are buying every one of my wilderness figurines. <laughs> What art lovers? 
This is the moment every artist waits for. Ah, uh, to be awash in the idolatry of connoisseurs. Oh, Joe, help me get a grip here. Uh, you watch the booth while I load up the car. Okay, okay. How about now, Sonny? There's not a soul about. Tell me about yourself. What are your dreams? Well, I would like to be a pro basketball player. Say no more, Sonny. Say no more. Joe. Enjoy it, Sonny. First one's free. Joe, come out of there. Whoa. Joe, what have you gotten yourself into? Joe, don't get carried away. Wow, this is the wildest party I've ever been to. What did I tell you? How long have we been here? Not long. Several months, perhaps. Gosh, I guess I've lost all track of time. Who cares about time? Yeah, who cares? Ah, you know who'd love this? Gretchen. Forget about her. No, come on, let's go get her. You don't want to see her, it would only depress you. She's dying in the dungeon. What? You take me there right now! Why doesn't he help me? He said he loved me. Where did he go? Gretchen, I'm right here. Where is my Faust? I'm here with you. I can get you out of here. We'll just go... Gretchen? The person I love most is dead. I could have helped her. But I was at a party. Uh, you tricked me. I want out of the deal. You signed in blood. You can't get out of it. <laughs> Joe, snap out of it. That's it, Sonny. Talk to me. Speak to me. Go for the tray. Sink the half-court bomb at the buzzer. Step right up and you two can live the experience it's of a lifetime. It's not real. Joe, take, a walk take that on thing the off your head side. now. Take a ride on virtual reality. All right, Dr. Nevada, don't make me get rough! Wow! Joe, you gotta see this! Hey, everybody stay calm! It's fine! Ready for everybody! Joe, look at this! See you later, Sonny. Playtime! Get that blasted dog out of here! Take him home, Joe, and go by my house. In the den, there's another bottle we can use for the money. Hurry! Sorry I let you get in trouble, boy. Hey, I'm a dog. I have an excuse, but you were completely out of control. What were you doing? I sure would like to get one of those wish matics Wanda's gone. This is the perfect opportunity to enter the Forbidden Zone. Uh, coming. Oh, back so soon? Yeah, Wishbone broke a bottle, so I'm gonna have to get a new one out of Miss Gilmore's house. Yeah, well, Wishbone probably should have stayed home. Come on, boy. I'll just go inside. Mom? Yep? Could I talk to you about something? Or maybe not. Well, sure, I have to get back to the library, but... Okay. If it's important. I'll just keep a low profile until we head over to Wanda's. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. It's just something that I wanted at the fair. Oh. I think it costs a little more than my allowance. Mm -hmm. Well, how much more? Actually, a lot more than my allowance. Okay, ballpark. I don't know. What is it? It's kind of hard to describe. Uh-huh. Okay, you can't tell me what it is and you can't tell me how much? Forget it. Well, no. Joe, if it's important to you, maybe we can work something out. Just, does it have to be settled today? Is there any way we could talk about it tonight? Because I really have to get back to the library. Okay, I'll find out. Okay. <laughs> you know, I really appreciate what you're doing for Wanda, and I'd love to do something for you. Okay. This is it? The chance of a lifetime. I'm this close to paradise. Yes! 
The gates have opened. All right. Let's go exploring. <laughs> oh, stand back, men. It's a flamingo. <laughs> oh, I love this. Imagine adventure in exotic lands. <gasps> the thrill of the unknown. I wonder what it might be like to live here. When Faust was a hundred years old, he was still lonely and looking for a place to live. He found a great little palace by the sea, owned by a generous old couple, Baucus and Philemon. Cool place you got here. <laughs> Please make yourself at home, kind stranger. We do not have many visitors. My wife and I are very old. You want to talk old? I'm over a hundred. Compared to me, you're both fifth graders. <laughs> You look weary. Ah, uh, well, it's been such a grueling century. Stay as long as you like. It is very peaceful by the sea. What nice people they are. I could stay here a long time. Wow, that's a great view. I wish this were my house. <laughs> Don't like owls. Hmm. What are you supposed to be? Robo plant? <laughs> well, seen enough. Time to return to civilization. Hello? Hey, Joe! I'd like to be outside now. Joe? Hey, where'd everybody go? Where did everything go? I sold it all. Can you believe it? <laughs> Bob came by with his friends from the James Fenimore Cooper Society. They bought everything I had. That's just great. Hey, thanks for sacrificing your Saturday to help me. You really brought me good luck. Oh, that was no problem. Uh, so you don't need me anymore? Nope, everything's sold. Okay, I'm just gonna go and take a look around. See you later. Well, there you are, Sonny. You still interested? Yeah, I talked to my mom. Yes? She said maybe. Maybe? Well, maybe your mom would like to try it herself. Why don't you bring her by the booth? Okay. I'll try. Okay, go get her. Okay. And bring that little dog with you. Joe, Sam, David. This is not at all what I had in mind. I'm alone. What are you doing here? I thought I told you to stay away from me. You'll never get away from me, Faust. Oh, yeah? Where are those nice old people? This is their house. I'll get them to throw you out. This is your house now. What do you mean? You wished for this house? I made those old people go away so you could have it all to yourself. Every time I like anybody, something bad happens. But you always get your wish. What good is getting your wish when somebody else gets hurt? <laughs> Mom, can you come to the fair with me? I really need to show you something. What's going on? We can't find Wishbone anywhere. We looked all over the house. Joe, didn't I put him in when I came home for lunch? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I hope he didn't get outside. Wishbone! Wishbone! Somebody call me? Oh, great. I'm hearing things. <sighs> My mind is going. Huh? Did somebody call me? I thought I heard something. <sighs> it must be my feverish imagination, desperate for human contact. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Care, and I belong here. I'm going to fill your soul with care for others. My soul is spoken for, lady. You're wasting your time. All right. If that's how you feel about it. Oh! Oh, that's my bad ankle. Hey, are you all right? I, I don't think I can walk. Here, I'll help. I used to be a doctor. Ah. You cared about me. Uh, no, I, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. 
You wanted to help me. That moment of caring has opened your heart enough for my power to win your soul. I tell you, you're wasting your time. I... Hey, what's going on? I care about you. I don't even know you, but I care about you. That's a new feeling for me. You like it? I love it! I wish I could feel like this forever! This feeling is the one thing in the world that I've never tried! Woo How would you describe it? It's the finest experience a person could have! Now your soul is mine for all eternity! But I have only just found true happiness. Remember our deal. When you choose your favorite experience, then I get your soul! Not so fast. What do you mean? He's going to heaven with me. When a soul learns to love others and care for them, even at the last moment in life, that soul belongs in heaven. We had a deal! He signed in blood! A loving, caring soul is stronger than you, Mephisto. He's coming with me. <laughs> So long, old Scratch. No! Don't forget to ride! No! I don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh boy! I'm rescued! Uh-oh. What's going on? Turn that music on. Who's in here? <laughs> you. I'm dead. It's not enough that you, you destroy my garden. It's not enough that you broke the wampum bottle. Now you break into my home and you... you Sorry? Well, I guess you didn't do too much damage. But it's the principle of the thing. Please don't kill me. Oh. Well, now you're going to have to learn to show some respect. Respect? You want groveling? Hey, look, I can grovel. Right here. No sudden moves, Buster. No sudden moves. Well, don't make it look like I'm torturing you. Okay. Take it like a dog. Close your eyes, Wishbone. It'll be over quickly. This is it. Huh? Hey, you know, I may be way off base here, but I think she likes me. I'll call the pound. Maybe they picked him up. I'll get it. Ellen. Wanda. Which book? Who spent the day at my house? <laughs> Wanda, I don't know what to say. Oh, this feels like therapy. Let's all go to the couch for a group hug. Is there something I can do for you? Yes, indeed. Your uh, sonny boy there wants to buy something for me. Oh, he does? And what might that be? Why, my wish of course. Uh, Joe, is, is this the thing you wanted? Yeah, that's it. Perhaps you'd like to give it a try, ma'am. This is the latest in virtual reality. He's so oh. cool, Mom. <laughs> oh, you again. And how much does this cost? Well, I I'm a bartering kind of a guy. It sure is a nice-looking little doggy you got there. Well, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> the best there is. Tell you what I'll do. I'll trade you the wish matic for the dog. What? About a swap. No way. Well, this is the deal of a lifetime, Sonny. Never. Well, you'll never find another one of these. Besides, what's a little old dog compared to a wish matic oh, you're, you're... I believe it's time for you to go. Please. Whatever you say, ma'am. See the crafts fair next year. Save your money. I won't be giving them away. Thanks, Joe. I believe this qualifies as a happy ending. Just think, Faust. We can spend all eternity together. That's a lot better than what I thought I'd be doing. Gretchen, 
This must be heaven. There are no cats. Thanks for taking care of Wishbone, Miss Gilmore. Oh, it was nothing. He's not so bad. You know, Wanda, may I call you Wanda? You're not so bad yourself. Maybe I'm wrong, but this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Ah, lovely. Faust was a legend long before Goethe ever committed it to the page. It's a story about good and evil. Now there's a creative challenge. How do you portray the themes of evil and good? We chose very traditionally that uh, those themes would be represented by uh, by light and darkness. Light good, darkness bad. That's our director of photography. He and his crew use light to help create a mood on every set. In this case, by casting a ray of hope into the darkest of dungeons. Okay, dolly and action. Good lighting can make you believe you're at the devil's party or in this dungeon, when actually we're in a 50,000 foot sound stage. Look out, here comes heaven. It's fair to say we did not hold back at all on the stating the brightness of heaven. White mist, white dry ice fog. Um, beyond that, there was certain filtration tricks that you do with the lens to give everyone that uh, heavenly glow. Ah, heaven. Such beautiful light. Perfect for reading, I'd say. sniff out Wishbone books and other great things to read at your local library. Funding for Wishbone provided by annual financial support from PBS viewers like you. What? You say you want something to do? Well, try this. Gather up your humans, put them in the car, and hightail it to your local library. Ha <laughs> ha! There's something for the whole family at the library. Adventure, comedy, mystery. So hightail it to your local library. It's a family thing. Only if you want a book on the top shelf, bring someone tall. Gonna get some assistance here. 